So this one I am excited for. I've been waiting on this for a while. It's called the Glyph. This is the Founders Edition, and it's such a hard thing to explain to you if you haven't heard of it. It looks like headphones, right? Well, it is. It sits on top of your head like headphones, so you can be inconspicuous when you're out and about. But at any point in time, you can flip it down, the headphones stay on, and now you have screens, HD screens in, in front of each eyeball, and you can enjoy something that you will perceive to be as a 50 or 60 inch television in front of your eyes without it being there. You know what I'm saying? You'll see it works with smartphones, computers, tablets, game consoles, and even drones. Definitely gonna try that out in an upcoming video. Retinal imaging, technology, optic, nerve, and battery life of up to four hours. It charges via micro USB. This is not a VR headset. What you are seeing is just a nice, big, personal image. Let's crack this open. It's not cheap. Okay, some cables. Oh, sweet, okay. This looks like a micro HDMI to HDMI. A micro USB cable to keep it charged up. Oh my goodness, is that ever soft. It's like a, oh, a luxurious carrying case over here. Some kind of strap. Here are a number of nose pieces. Ooh, feels surprisingly premium. Giant padded ear cups here. Oh, it's a magnetic protector for your lenses there. And then those are the lenses themselves. This side that takes the micro or mini, a power switch over here, a power light. So this is where your nose piece goes. I'm not gonna install that just yet. It's a little high up on the head. So somebody who's really looking at you, examining you, they might figure you out. But here's where things get spicy though. If you spin that baby down, all of a sudden look at you now. Hmm. Oh yeah. That's way more comfortable. Oh, that's cool. It's a magnetic fit in there. You know, it's kind of like wearing glasses. I'd say it's a little bit more, a little softer. I wanna see what this thing is all about. I, I mean, I wanna try to play some games right now, see if I'm capable. So I've got the Xbox booted up now. There's actual adjustments right on the lenses. So you don't have to wear glasses. Ooh, the audio is rumbling right now. Ooh. Oh, not good. It's a little different, get the hang of. There we go. If you've never played Trials before, it is one of the most frustrating games. <laughs> but I love it. I love the frustration of it. Eventually, you will snap and you'll take it out on your loved ones. Maybe one day we're, get, we're ending up in that futuristic zone of, uh, you know, Matrix all the time. Just tapped in and logged in. Maybe that's maybe that's where we're going, but I'm not 100% sure that we're there yet. You know how you like lay in bed with like a Netflix series or something like that? Well, if you have your laptop and then you're cranked, the neck is cranked, even with the phone, you got the phone up here, you drop the phone, broken face, you could just uh, go future mode, all right? Be on the cutting edge for the enthusiasts who give zero Fs. You know, their mom comes home and they're like, leave me alone, mom. I'm in the game world. I like it better in here. But yes, I'll still have that grilled cheese and chocolate milk. Thanks, mom. <laughs>